In today's video, guys, I have brought you a very nice equation. So we get these two portions of this equation. We get the first one is the x squared as a second power plus this fraction x over x plus number one, all is raised to number two as a power. So the entire thing equals three. So our goal, we are going to solve this equation in real numbers. Okay. So everyone can have different method to proceed with the solution. So I'm going to use a nice and easiest method here. So what to do here? If I'm going to simplify this expression here by multiplying this this x square by this denominator, I will get here we get x to the four. This expression is going to have a polynomial of degree four. It will be a little complicated to factor out this expression. Okay. So what to do? I'm going to use a nice trick here. More simple. I'm going to add minus x minus one on both sides. So let's do that. So get x squared to make it more clear minus x minus one okay plus x squared is divided by x plus number one all is raised to the number two as a power the so on the other side of this equation i'm going to add the same thing so as i did nothing just adding zero on both sides which is minus x minus number one also minus x minus one here will be added okay so let's simplify this three with minus number one. I'm simply going to, to get two minus x. I'm going to use a new trick here. I keep going with this one by adding another minus x minus number one here next to this one. Then also add it here. I will see both terms it will be appeared as the same. I get x squared minus x minus number one. Also on the right hand side of this equation, maybe we'll have the same thing, okay? So that one, it can help us to factor this one, okay? So, I'm going to just simply put in minus x minus one. So I will have the same term here. Also, I'm going to add it here. But here, I will have minus x minus one all over x plus one quinary square. I'm going to leave this one as it is. Just, we are sim simply going to simplify this one. So this one, put this minus sign out of these things, becomes plus here. I'm going to cancel x plus number one square down to x plus number one to remain shortcut and easiness. Okay, so here I get two, two minus x minus one over x plus number one. Okay, by putting the same common denominator, I get x plus number one. Here I will have two minus x factor x plus number one. Here I will have minus number one. So this thing is going to give us 2x plus 2 minus x squared minus x minus number 1 all over x plus number 1. So simply we are going to simplify this one more. I get x minus x squared plus x plus number 1 all over x plus number 1. Now we will see something special here. If I'm going to take this minus sign out of these things, it will have the same term that I have here in each term. So I have x squared minus x minus number one in each term. Now we are going to take everything to one side, then make it as a common factor, okay? So let's do that. By taking this minus sign out of these things, you get minus here. This one it will be changed to the minus as well as this one minus, okay? So let's take all these things to the left and make x squared minus x minus number one as a common multiplier. So we get x squared minus x minus number one. All it will be multiplied. This one will be multiplied by number one, but this one will, it will be multiplied by one over x plus number one, quinary square. This one it will be multiplied by my, this minus will be plus because it's taken to the other side. So I get one over x plus number one like this, okay? Everything equals zero, as you take in everything to, to one side. Simplifying this expression here, so we get x squared here, minus x minus number one, factor, this one becomes x plus number one, quinary square, this one, this one becomes number one, this one becomes one plus x. Everything is divided by x plus number one, quinary square, which equals zero. 
remember here since we get x plus number in denominator always you get x must be different than minus number one okay i will have two things here i will have this product this one is going to be zero or this one to, is going to be zero so after simplification i'm going to simplify this one more so we get x squared minus x minus number one factor this one it will have x squared here plus 2x plus this x becomes plus 3x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 all over x plus number 1 square equals 0 okay I get x square minus x minus number 1 equals 0 or x square plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. Let's solve this one first. So applying the, the delta here, we get 1 minus 4 times minus number 1, which equals 5. So we get two solutions. x1, which equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. The other solution, which is x squared, you get 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. If I'm going to calculate the delta of this one, so I get delta, which is 9 minus 4 times 3 is going to give us 9 minus 12 which is minus 3 but the delta is negative this equation is not accepting in a solution which means the only solution that we get is one okay so i have done this problem thank you for watching i will see you next video bye